Now everything is good. Thank you. Now everything is good. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to the live show. Yeah, I've been joining in uh, since one o'clock. So, oh, okay, it's so you're very interesting. Watching. Yes. I know we're. Oh, you just uh, reminded me to look at the time. I know we're at time. We do have a couple of speakers left. Um, so hopefully people will you know stick around for for this session. And I know your topic is uh, personal health and knowledge graphs, challenges and opportunities. So what can people expect to to hear from your session? Right. So this workshop is going to be about personal health knowledge graphs mm -hmm. and really the problem that we're trying to address is the fact that we already know that where people live work and what their income is and education level can have as much or greater influence on their health as their access to health care despite this we're still spending the majority of our health care dollars on the provision of medical services as opposed to trying to alter our environments and our behaviors so uh, my workshop co-organizers and myself um, are really excited to be running this workshop because we want to discuss the potential for using personal health knowledge graphs to integrate social determinants of health, mm -hmm. idiosyncratic observations of daily living into the patient health records. And by doing this, we hope to enable personalized and explainable insights to support behavior change. That sounds, so, uh, that sounds very interesting, very relevant right now with, uh, with COVID-19 and people trying to figure out healthcare data. Mm -hmm, mm hmm for sure although you know our interest in this has been a long time coming and in, in originally to address chronic diseases which are highly preventable through behavior change and yet you know are currently one of the key drivers of healthcare costs right so you mentioned this is a is a it's a panel um yeah, so we're going to have two panels. The morning panel is going to include uh, Dr. Rita Kukavka from Columbia University. She um, is also our keynote speaker for the day. She mm -hmm. um, is a professor of social medical sciences and biomedical informatics at Columbia University. And she's been on the front line understanding how health records and health information technologies are actually being used by patients and providers. So we're really excited to hear from her. Um, this first panel will also include Dr. Tina Papusakis, who is a senior director from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So she is going to be able to um, give us uh, insights specific to how nutrition care is delivered and how we can personalize that. Our third panelist in this session is Dr. Jeffrey Rogers, uh, who is IBM global research leader for health devices and technologies. He's also the senior manager for cognitive IoT health systems at IBM Research. And so we think that the three of them together can really give us a sense for the state of the art in, the pra in practice and in technologies to enable the personal health knowledge graph. Wow, yeah. sounds, sounds like a very powerful panel that you know people should definitely not miss when you know, they're attending the knowledge graph conference. There's a, a second panel. To, so combined with why this is important in, in the health industry, we are having a second panel that will include our second keynote speaker, Dr. Jim Hendler from Rensselaer Polytechnic, Dr. Ruben Verbo, who's also a speaker in the main conference, and Dr. Mauro Dragoni. Um, and these guys are, are better known in this community. And so I won't take the time right now to, to introduce them in too much detail. But we really want to balance the health use case with the technology um, side of things so that we can make sure that this community can be a part of contributing to to what we hope will be part of um, the future of personal health records. Great. Thank, thank you so much. And is there a link that I could provide to the audience, you know, so they can follow the progress that you're doing in this space? Yes, uh, I will paste that in the in the chat right away. Okay, great. Well, yep. And I'm happy to, to share that. Uh, or you can post it on the LinkedIn live as well. Up to you. Um, but thank you so much for, for joining the live stream. I think your session is going to be really interesting. Hope people go ahead and check that out. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Okay. Bye.